Cleveland just won almost $60 million for its lakefront plans. Mayor Justin Bibbs' administration announcing a federal grant today. News 5's Michelle Jarbo spoke with the mayor about what all this means now. Sure, yeah. Rob, the mayor told me that this is a big first step in a major fundraising effort. So state legislators already pledged $20 million for a land bridge. You add in this federal grant and the city has raised about $80 million so far. The cost of this huge project is more than five times that though, about $450 million. We're talking about a land bridge to connect downtown to the lakefront. It would turn the shoreway into a boulevard as it cuts through downtown and building a new public transit hub to replace this old Amtrak station. All that will lay the foundation for new lakefront development, including places where you'll be able to touch the water. We are going to transform our lakefront. Clevelanders have been talking about this for generations. The time has come to meet the moment, and I'm committed to doing just that. Told me the city is applying for other federal grants and loans, and this project is moving forward no matter what happens with the Cleveland Browns. Oh. They're seriously considering a move to Brook Park. I'm committed to exploring every option along with the county executive to keep the Browns downtown in the city of Cleveland uh, playing football on our lakefront. But if the Browns go to Brook Park, we will develop our waterfronts. Now, the federal grant will pay for work on both sides of West 3rd Street, demolishing roads and starting to build that new boulevard. The city hopes to start construction in 2027. And Rob, some money for this will also come from a new tool the city recently approved. We've told you about this. It's a special district that will capture property tax growth downtown to help pay for new public infrastructure along the lake and the river. That is a big price tag. It's a big sum for a very big job. Michelle, thank you so much for that. Speaking of the lake now, it's been almost one year since the Coast Guard announced it was closing its Ashtabula station and downsizing its Fairport Harbor station, all part of a nationwide solution to understaffing that led the Coast Guard about 10% below the numbers it needs. As Coast Guard recruitment numbers improve, local leaders are pressing to have that service now restored. They met with Senator Sherrod Brown and Ashtabula today to discuss the additional strain on safety services when they had to be the first to respond to many water rescues the Coast Guard would have normally handled. Over the last decade, they've seen staffing of the Ashtabula Coast Guard station reduced several times. They want to make sure this closure is not permanent. I've been doing this for 13 years, and I found once something goes away, it very, very rarely comes back unless we are stomping and screaming, getting our congressional leaders involved uh, to try to get it back. Both Senator Brown and Republican Congressman Dave Joyce have been leading the bar bipartisan effort to have service restored. Still ahead tonight on News 5 at 11, we follow through. We speak with the Coast Guard about where things stand in this process.